but I I just like reset my computer and then like I come back in and I have them all. It's about to get real. Five, four, Not reset the game because it, it won't work. You have to reset like your one. computer again. Round one. Capture the objective. It's getting fucking destroyed in comp and there's a glitch where I can't pick, pick certain heroes. It's stupid. I was gonna play a little bit with my friend comp, but he's not even answering me, so I got impatient. We actually won that one. I don't know how. I can't pick anything but Mora. And I'm like, there's some kind of glitch. It's absolutely retarded. I can only pick Mora and Mercy. Unlock via special challenge, battle pass, or in game shop. This is so dumb. That shouldn't even be a thing. Like, it really shouldn't. So you can't pick certain heroes to play. It. Bro. How do you... <sighs> you know, I can't even say, like, I'm surprised, honestly. This is just typical. The heroes that you're used to playing, you can't play them. Like, it's a glitch because of whatever they did when they were implementing this game or this update rather they, they they said i gotta restart my whole computer i'm like i'm not doing that like i'm so sick of this game and it's bugs like it's ridiculous and i'm stuck on a wall bro i love how i can literally only pick one of two people i can't pick any of the other uh healers it's, it's freaking dumb dude Yo, Blizzard, fix your game, man. Like, this is such a turnoff. You hype this game up to be, like, this, like, freaking best thing since Overwatch 1, best thing since sliced bread, and yet your game is just effed. Like, there's too many problems with it. I don't even care that I'm dying so much or whatever. Like, I'm just so turned off by the fact that I can't even switch my character, and it requires me restarting my entire game. Yo, re I'm not restarting my computer. I got other things going on. Like, I'm not going to restart my computer. I shouldn't have to restart my computer. The damn game should work. And I'm not the only one having the problem. This has literally been, like, the worst launch of a game I've ever seen from Blizzard. And I don't give a damn if other games have this problem, okay? I'm not playing other games. I'm playing this. Cause I hate when people say, y'all act like games don't have bugs this launch. How do you accept that? Like, from a AAA company... As like just being okay like that's just that's just acceptable like game they're gonna hype it up they're gonna get all you know all watch point packs and, and watch point pack sales and everything and they're just and you're just gonna like roll with that like oh this this is fine this is fine it's not fine shouldn't have released your game then matter of fact you should have just updated it not call it overwatch 2 just so you can monetize the crap out of it and change the whole monetization model a stupid battle pass that nobody literally nobody asked for but you dumbasses freaking support this kind of crap all right so i was just in a match my heroes were just locked out and, and competitive at that like i've played tons of quick play matches already and have had no issues picking characters all of a sudden i jump into competitive and for some damn reason you know i pick free for all so I just you know flex put me wherever you need me and I could only pick three freaking healers. Are you kidding me? In a competitive placement match. That's unacceptable. Completely unacceptable. Luckily, I've played enough characters where I could play pretty damn well with almost anyone. But that's just that's just stupid. And somehow, like, we're just taking it like this, okay? Listen, I love Blizzard too, okay? I really do. Okay, don't get me wrong. You watch these videos and you think like I'm just I'm just dogging them and I'm just trashing them. I'm pointing out the issues that are that are act they exist and it's 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 not my job to fix them. It's not. Deliver a product that's ready on release. Okay? It shouldn't take you figuring these issues out once the game is out. Why is this accepted as the new norm? Why is this accepted as being okay? It shouldn't. It's not. It shouldn't be. But yet I, I look in I look in all these posts. I look in all these posts and what do I see? I see what I would say is across the board you have you have the community is divided. Okay, you got some people that's just always trying to be understanding, always trying to give them the benefit of the doubt. Yo, you know what? 
don't even watch my videos because you're not going to be happy with them. You're not. Okay. Because I, I, you know what? Before I was making videos, I gave them benefit of the doubt for a long time. Okay. But you're watching a company just go down the drain. Why? Because you know what? Like I said before, they're getting what they deserve. Nobody asked for this. Nobody asked for this. Nobody asked for a battle pass. Nobody asked them to change the monetization model. What we asked for was content that we weren't getting for years. And as a result, this is what we have. A half-baked product that shouldn't even like be out right now. Like this, You know what this was? This was like a Hail Mary, like we got to put something out and hope for the best. We got to put out what we got on out now because people are getting frustrated before they lose complete faith and trust in our game. Well, a lot of people have. And like I said before, you made it free to play, but then you created these barriers of entry. And again, for you people that think it doesn't affect you so you don't care, look, whatever. I don't agree with the phone number thing. I don't. And people have expressed that in my videos that it's it's caused them, it's prevented them from playing. But you know what, guys? You're not missing much. Because this game is full of bugs. It's full of issues. I got some of my family members getting kicked out because it, it's saying their GPU is in, is like not compatible or working with it. It's causing a game to crash. Others, like their game is just like crashing and it's not the GPU. It's just some other reason. All right. I got like just all types of weird stuff. I'm just like, this is a game. That, that you got me hyped to play, Blizzard? Like, you got me hyped to play your game. You put it all in my face. You paid for all the advertising and everything. It was like, hey, get hype. Overwatch 2 releases October 4th. Oh, but by the way, it's going to have a lot of bugs. And I'm going to tell you right now, I, reach, I read each and every single one of your comments, okay? And I'm going to just say this right now. You don't like what I have to say? I don't give a shit. The fact that I'm still making content on this game should show you that I'm still interested in it. I'm still playing it. Because when it works, it's fun. When it works, it's fun. I think I'm just going to go back to playing Apex. And just wait for just wait for WoW to come out. Dragonflight. I think this game, I think until this gets sorted out, we're just going to enjoy quick play. The kids and I. It's ridiculous. And believe me, I'm not one of those people who just dog on Blizzard just to dog on Blizzard. Like I said before, I'm a fanboy. I love Blizzard games. I've played all of them. Except Diablo Immortal. And Warcraft 1, because I can never find a copy of it. But since Warcraft 2, I've played every single Blizzard game. Just like many of you. What happened to the Blizzard that used to put out a good, polished product? I don't care. I don't care... If you say, oh, but every single launch, you know, since the beginning of time, Blizzard has had issues and da 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 I don't remember Overwatch 1 having these issues at all. It came out. It was a hit. It was great. Why didn't you nurture your game, Blizzard? Why? I'll tell you why. You got greedy. You don't care about your fan base. You only care about your community as far as you can reach into their pockets. That's it. And for any of you that think otherwise, don't kid yourself. Don't kid yourself. That's why they do all this crap. That's why they have this. They have this freaking stupid battle pass. Right? And I will I will I will say, fine, you get a lot of good stuff for ten dollars a month. Alright? But Apex does the same thing, and I can earn coins towards the next battle pass. Sure, I'm tempted to spend those coins on skins and whatnot if I really want one and then buy a new battle pass, but I should only have to buy it once. But no, I gotta buy it every single every single time. And like I said, I, I spent I spend most of my day reading the com not most of my day, but you know, I have time. I read the posts, I read the comments, you know, the stupid shit some of y'all say. Oh, well, you know, if you have a problem, you know, spending ten dollars on a battle pass for a free to play game, you know, you you know, you shouldn't be playing a game and da, da, da. shut up. All right, shut up. Okay, that's not the point. Okay, maybe I would be so inclined to buy this battle pass if the game wasn't messed up, if the game was actually working the way it's supposed to. I honestly don't, after what I've been through with, with Overwatch 1, I don't really have a desire to play competitive in this game. I don't need the headaches.
I'd much rather spend my time enjoying like an RPG or a game with a good story than waste my precious hours of gaming. Precious hours of gaming. Okay? Meaning I set aside time for gaming. And I'd rather spend those hours enjoying myself than getting frustrated with all the headaches that come with this game and its competitive scene. Because heaven forbid, heaven forbid, I have a connection issue or any one of my kids have a connection issue. Boom, 15 minute ban. Even if you jump back in the match, which is stupid because if you get able to jump back in the match, right? Which when in the past when that's happened, we've almost always been able to join back in the match. Why would I join back in the match if I left on purpose? But you geniuses over there think that, oh, this, this is how it should be. And y'all defending them? I'm telling you right now. Y'all that defend this shit that Blizzard does, I don't care what you have to say. I don't care what you think. You're not going to convince me that this is okay. And this is a problem that I personally feel plagues the lower skill tiers. I don't know about the higher skill tiers. I ain't been in them. Lord knows I bust my ass playing to try to get up to them. But when you do shit like by design where we're playing eight hours of competitive and more often than not, we'll have games where it will be me and my wife queued up in Overwatch 1, right? And we'll have like, let's say like two players on our team, really good players. You know what I'm saying? Like we did well together. We're good players. We healed them. They're two DPS. And we were just killing it, right? We win the match. Why the fuck are those same people or one of them on the very next game queued up against me? Why? Because now the match we just won, somebody's going to lose SR. Either they're going to lose that SR or we're going to lose that SR. How does that make any sense? Your algorithm should prevent you from playing against people that you just won with. I, the next day, fine. But I'm talking about the very next match. Why? Because by design, to keep you playing, to keep you at a 50% win rate. And if y'all think I'm talking shit, fuck you. You're wrong. I fucking tested this shit for a long, long time. I suffered through it, playing Overwatch 1 and going through that. Win, loss, win, loss, win, loss. Win, 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 win. Loss, 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 loss. There is no advancement. You get locked into one skill tier. And I have no doubt that the same shit is going to happen with the competitive scene of Overwatch 2. So I have zero interest in playing it. Zero. Because it ain't real progression. It's just some fucking cooped up algorithm that some smart ass whipped up or a bunch of smart asses whipped up to keep you playing their game over and over again and never going anywhere and giving you this false sense of hope that you're going to advance, that you're going to, that you can go on, 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 from in one account from like bronze to, to, and progress to like master. If you just play really hard, if you just really work really hard. No, most people, they make another account because they're like, okay, I've gotten better. So now I'm going to make this new account. And then when I play my placement matches, because it's a fresh account, right? I'm going to place higher and not be stuck trying to climb from bronze to gold. But maybe I'll start in gold or maybe I'll start in platinum because I'm a much better player now. What's wrong with that? I don't think there's anything wrong with that because the system is keeping them down. Now, I know there's going to be a few people out there. I was like, well, it didn't affect me. It didn't affect me. I, was, I, I climbed from this to that. No problem. You know, three seasons. I got from, I, I, was, I was silver and now I'm, I'm a diamond with the same account. Or I'm a, I'm a master with the same account. How much did you have to play, though? Because I played a lot. A lot. Wired connection, good computer, zero issues with my internet. I've played this game in so many different places since it's been out. Overwatch 1. 
I played it in so many places because I was in the military. I moved around. I played it in so many different places. I played it in Korea for two years. I am not impressed. I'm not. This is the same game. There are things I like about it, and there th- but there are things that I hate about it. And so I'm going to apologize in advance to all of you who have subscribed because of my content about this game. I hope you stick around for the ride. This is not going to be the only game I do coverage on. Because quite frankly, if this is what I have to expect, I'm not enjoying myself. And this isn't a game I want to waste my time playing. Honestly. I can't even get all my family members playing now. I don't know why. My wife's computer had no problem running Overwatch 1. None. (laughs) And before you say it, because I know you're going to. Well, Overwatch 2 has a new engine. And so it has stiffer requirements than Overwatch 1. Again, not the answer. So do me a favor before you put your little stupid ass two cents in the comment section with that shit. Don't even bother because I already addressed it. Don't care what you have to say. There is no reason that when I jump into a competitive match that I got characters locked. And the solution is to restart my entire computer. Why? How is that a thing? Not the game application, the whole computer. And I don't care if it's just a game application. I shouldn't have to do that. This is ridiculous. I'm pissed off and you should be too. I'm pissed off because I expect better out of Blizzard as a company. I happily give them my money. Happily. Pre-watch, pre-order freaking uh, 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 the the new WoW expansion. Pay for, for WoW every month. I bought loot boxes. I bought all their games. I bought Overwatch four times. But this? Unacceptable. Unacceptable. Do better. Do better. Do better, Blizzard.